Hello again. Uh, I thought I'd get a couple more of these questions done before uh, I get caught up again. I just had to save a whole bunch of videos and get them all edited together. So I thought I'd shoot some more here uh, before I uh, start doing a few other things. Okay, where were we up to? Uh, day 16. Here we are. Uh, if Back to the Future were to replace Doc Brown and Marty McFly with Stark inventing the time travel and Captain America being back in time, how would you adapt the story? Adapt this sort of story? All right, so Captain America gets sent back in further back in time to like I know the pre. Uh, just during World War One, or just after? Because uh, I assume you're talking about the uh, Captain America from the movies. Uh, so he uh, misses me here. He screws up his parents' meeting, so he's not born. Still, uh, I like that story. I really do. Uh, so I, I'd, I'd keep that, uh, except. <coughs> I don't think I'd make the, his dad a peeping Tom, because, because uh, yeah, I, I I don't think that would really work for that time period. So anyway, uh, World War Two, uh, World War One's going on. Uh, I'd, I'd say his dad was still a teenager, and that's why he's not involved in uh, World War One in any way. But that there's that. And uh, Captain America's there, uh, and uh, he gets right. I'd, I'd say, and so of course Stark. Uh, uh, it's um, Stark's granddad uh, that has to save him, and uh, they reinvent the time machine. Uh, that's how it works. So either that, or uh, they cryogenically freeze him again. And that's how he gets back to the, the present day. Uh, so it turns out it's a complete time loop anyway. And that's how uh, that's how Captain America is, uh, comes to be because the formula that they use is from the original uh, from Captain America because yeah because uh, the granddad of Tony has to use a sample of the blood to figure out uh, how to invent this. So it's a complete, so, so it's a complete loop. Uh, so th that's actually a good question. That's uh, I really like that. So that's just the basics of doing it is that you, you send him back in time so it makes it one continuous loop. Yeah, so anyway, that's, that's how I'd do it. That's assuming that you do it in the movie version. I doubt, don't know how you do the current version because I haven't really read any Captain America comics so yeah that's that's how I do it okay anyway that's it